uh, man, do a little keys to victory for um, Jesse Vargas and um, and Mikey Garcia. I'm I'm really feeling this fight, man. This going to be a good fight. Mikey Garcia, I think he picked the right po opponent coming coming back off that um that um shellacking that he took from um Earl Spence. He he took a, um a shellac and most a lot of people want to say I'm talk I'll, I'll I'll talk boxing no more. They like me talk boxing. Well, I'm about to talk boxing. Mm -mm. Mikey Garcia, first I'm gonna give you Jesse Vargas. Some of the keys of victory for Jesse Vargas. Some of the things Jesse Vargas it's keys that he must do. Jesse Vargas, he can't fall asleep. He can't get lazy when he throw punches against Mikey Garcia. He can't get lazy when he throw punches against Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia is a very, very, very dangerous, um, very dangerous um, counter puncher. Very dangerous counter puncher, and and not only he's a counter puncher, he picks up on a lot of different cues. He different. He 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 picks up on on your cues. And you can't keep doing. Um, sometimes um, Jesse Vargas get a little lax, and he throw the same jab out there. He thought he 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 was doing against Broner, and and he was he was throwing the same jab, the same speed, the same the same um tempo. He wasn't changing up the speed. He wasn't changing up the um. It, it, it was like um in boxing, it's his rhythm. His rhythm was it, it, you know he got he got to change his rhythm up. He got to he got to um he got to fight in the rhythm with um. Mikey Garcia, you gotta be in a rhythm, cause he he reads everything and he reads everything. And if I'm gonna give you an example, say if you he he might say you throw say you throw a jab out there, he might check your jab, he might check your jab and faint. Okay, and, and, and he might check your jab and faint just to see where you're gonna be at. Then he will probe, he will probe, he will probe and faint you, and then to see where you're gonna be at. Then he'll shoot a jab. But he all he do sometimes he'll do this sometimes he do this on the front foot he do this on the front foot all this on the front foot sometimes he be in a neutral position but his weight is on the front foot and he's moving he's probing he's looking but he's always on balance and as soon as he you throw that shot he gonna shoot a com he's he's a heavy heavy handed combination punches he throw he might throw he might throw some shit to your body they come up with a, with a with a two or three piece to your fucking head body head head body he, he, they they practice on very very crisp combination and he's always he's always on balance so so I'm saying Jesse Vargas have to um Jesse Vargas have to um. Jesse Vargas have to be on balance. I mean, he had not been on balance. Mikey gonna be on balance. He has to try to do. He try. He has to try to get Mikey Garcia off balance. So he have to try to um dis disrupt this disrupt Mikey Garcia um lead hand. So what I mean by disrupt it, just don't let Mikey, cause Mikey, Mikey, Mikey will shoot the jab to your chest. He'll try to open you. He'll try to open you up. He'll try to open your offense up by shooting. Like sometimes he'll shoot that jab to your chest. He'll shoot it to your stomach. Sometimes he'll faint and try to open you up with different shots to keep you going backwards to keep you off balance. So when you, so when you throw a shot, you always trying to, you always on the, you always on the defense. But then, then when you throw a shot, he'll counter you. Then he'll take that shot away from you. He'll take that punch away from you. You, you you'll be kind of reluctant to throw, throw your, throw your jab. So what you have to do with what you have with what um Jesse Vargas going to have to do is when Mikey throws something, he going to have to try to um try to try to sit back and counter some of Mikey. Try to take Mikey jab away from him because if Mikey's able to jab all night long and pick him apart, he gonna stop him. He gonna catch um Jesse Vargas with something real heavy and stop him. He gonna have to make Mikey a little uncomfortable in there. Push him back a little bit. But it's hard pushing Mikey back because Mikey he'll go back on an angle. He'll go he won't he don't go straight back. He's very fundamentally sound. Um, Eduardo, his father Eduardo and his brother Robert, they teach him the fundamentals. If you start pushing him back, he won't just go straight back. He'll go back on an angle, good head movement, and catch you. And you throw a punch, he'll slip it, catch you with something. He always on balance. They practice balance. He always ready to throw hard shots. Not even off the counter. Sometimes he'll lead, come off the front foot. He'll look like he in a bad position. 
Go back and watch it with Salido. Salido rush in. He'll go backwards, turn off the angle, catch Salido with a hard body shot, come up to come upstairs with a shot. So Mikey Garcia balance is always superb. But you gotta you gotta check his lead. You gotta check his you gotta check his lead hand. You gotta check his jab. When he throws his jab, you gotta check it. You gotta counter it. You gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta, you gotta stop him. You gotta neutralize his you the, the beat the key to beat Mikey Garcia, you gotta neutralize his um you gotta neutralize his um lead hand. And another thing is you gotta throw combinations. You gotta can't let him set up. If you let him sit there and set up all all day, he'll sit there counter you, pick you apart, make you miss, make you pay. But if you keep him keep him busy, if you keep him busy with your um with your, with your lead hand and keep him keep him um guessing, keep keep changing rhythms, keep keep him guessing, keep him off 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 balance. Then you'll have a better chance of getting a lot of shots off on him. If not, if you stay mundane, just stay doing the same thing. You stay vanilla, not not um changing your rhythm, not not rocking, not proving, not moving, not changing, ch- changing, shifting your weight and all that. Move herky jerky. You gotta you gotta you gotta fake him out. If you don't fake him out, he gonna figure you out. Start putting them paws on you and fuck around and catch you with a shot you don't see it and fuck around and um, clean you the fuck up. They be they 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 be like spill on out nine. You be out that bitch. But um, this is gonna be a good fight. Jesse Vargas gonna have to do what what I said he gonna have to do. He gonna have to stay steady with that lead hand. Check check Mikey lead hand. Make sure Mikey is not sitting there looking setting traps all day. Make Mikey uncomfortable. Get nasty in there. Making the dog fight a little bit. Double up your jab. Feign him. Double up your jab. Shoot, 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 shoot! And they keep them, keep them busy with, keep them busy with that lead hand all day, with that jab all day, with the lead hand fainting and probing, shooting the jab upstairs, downstairs, changing, changing, um, changing your rhythm. Keep them busy. Come forward. And make sure and make sure your head movement and make sure you work on slipping, slipping and dodging punches and and, and not going straight back because Mikey will set you up. But that's my um. That's my keys to victory for both guys. Mikey gonna be him. Mikey gonna be slick. Mikey gonna be sharp. Mikey gonna be fundamental. He the, he the, he's very fundamentally sound, but he don't do nothing spectacular. But what he what he do is he advance the um the basics. So he make the basics very advanced. All uh, right, hit that thumbs up, support the channel. Let's talk boxing.